buddies, it's your girl Christine, and today we're checking out a suggestion from you guys. This is Lemon Boy. Um, this was a suggestion from you guys to check out, um, and I don't know what this is. The only thing I see was this video was not sponsored by anything mentioned in its content, so I don't know what we're in for. Hopefully something fun. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Hey, sugar cute. Oh, that's it's a cute name. Sugar. I don't know if any of you guys still watch cable, but when I was younger, I yeah, used to I watch cable. a channel called TLC. Oh, TLC. The channel today would be the equivalent of a vlogging channel on YouTube. I shows guess, like yeah. like 18 Kids and Counting and Out Daughtered. I love I've that never... <laughs> oh, ago, that baby looks so upset. I've seen some TLC shows, like, um... They have, I think it's four weddings, where you have four brides, they go to their weddings, they each go to each other's weddings, and then they basically judge each other's weddings. And then whoever had the best wedding gets like an awesome honeymoon type of thing, which that part is cool. The fact that these other wives are judging their the wives, it's or the other brides are judging the other brides, it can get kind of petty, but I've seen that. I, I'm sure there's like some of their documentary shows about people with certain health problems or inabilities to like get out of their house type of thing. Um, but I, ha I don't like sit and watch a bunch of it, but I've seen TLC. Show called Extreme Couponing. The people in the show would spend hours gathering I've heard all of, sorts of coupons in order I've to heard of extreme couponing. store scot free. These people would buy $300 worth of products and be able to get out of with. the store not paying anything. Really? Sometimes the store would even owe them money. Really? Apparently the people in the show were using counterfeit coupons, so it got canceled. Oh, wow. Either way, my mom got super into That's it messed and up. even created her own book dedicated to saving. In a huge family like mine, saving money I was going to say, I want to do extreme. 12 isn't easy when there 12? isn't enough money to go around. Wow. Growing up, us older kids just knew that we couldn't ask for money. Right. And that was fine. The only time we'd ever go out to a fancy restaurant was on birthdays. Aww, depending on the nothing price, too pricey. Course. I get it. It wasn't a birthday and we were going out. It meant that there was some sort of coupon my mom had stumbled into. Oh, that's into. good. Because of this, I'm not too familiar with many restaurants. So, what's your favorite restaurant? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does the dollar menu at McDonald's? McDonald's. We were the type of family that goes to Costco just to walk around and eat the free hey. samples. Don't get the wrong idea. My parents I like aren't that. cheap. They just want to have enough money to send 10 kids to college one day. It's actually a ten joke kids. in my family that if I ever get married, psh, if I get, ever get married. Why is it an if? Before the wedding reception, instead of ordering Her a dress is expensive a, is cake, adorable. we would just take everyone down to the local C's candy to get a free sample. Not a bad strategy, uh -huh. if you ask me. Because of all the couponing and savings, I could always count on going to Chick-fil-A twice a year for their two free meals. Wait, what? Ones. The first one being counting. Oh, wait, what's this? In order to get a free meal, you had to dress up as a cow, so my mom would oh, make us really? using clear ponchos and spray paint. We would storm the Chick-fil-A oh, as a Oh, and you get a free meal? Battle. I thought it was hilarious, although I'm not too sure the staff were enthusiastic <laughs> about it. Oh, yeah, 10 the kids? Event they That's free. Every year was in honor of the military. Oh. Thanks, Dad, for the Japan. Who's calling me from Japan? The second event they have every year was in honor of the military. Thanks, Dad, for the endless supply of military Oh, okay. Discounts. Her father's in the military. On this particular military okay. day about four years ago, they had a bounce house for the little kids and some competitions set up on a table. Really? There was a chicken eating oh. competition and a lemon squeezing one. Oh, okay. One. I stated in my sports video I could do that I'm lemon the most competitive person out there, and back then I was definitely shy. I was too nervous to be in the spotlight, but my mom wouldn't uh -huh. have it, so she pushed me into hey, free, the competition. Hey, free area. meals. My brother Allwright was participating, so I thought I should give Swag. it a try. I like her hat. I wasn't alone at the table, it'd okay. be fine. The competition went as follows. The person that squeezed the most juice out of the lemons in a three-minute mm -hmm. time period wins. I've never the heard of this. The containers were opaque, so no one would be able to tell who ah, was in the Ah, that's good. I was kind of out of the lemon squeezing game. I was 18 at the time. The last time I had made lemonade was when Aww, I was six. she's so cute. The competition was about to begin when all of a sudden, this random kid next to me started bugging me. What was he doing? Hey, hey, look at me. What? Yeah. How many lemons do you squeeze in a week? What? What, like, in prep for this? Uh, none? Well, I squeeze lemons for my mom every day. Okay. Okay. Weird. That's oddly yeah. specific. I'm pretty much the lemon squeezing champ. If I were you, I would back out of the competition. Really, kid? Those are some mighty words. But you realize you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch, right? Uh. I don't know what you're blabbing about, Grandma, but you're never <laughs> Grandma. Gonna beat these guns. Let's be a little kid. Right, just looked at each other. This kid's so going oh, down. They're... 
Ha ha. Yeet. That kid wouldn't stop Dear. blabbing about how great he was at school. That's weird to be proud of. I really wasn't going to try that hard, but after some smack talk, I was yeah, determined you get to it, girl. this thing. I wasn't about to be told off by some 12-year-old. And he called you grandma. All the seats to the competition were filled up, including okay. two adults. We all got ready to start. Attention, everyone. The lemon squeezing competition is okay. about to begin. On your marks. Look at them. Get set, Look at them. Go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What about, what, is nobody else going to participate? It's just them two? They're like really, really feeling it. Oh. Uh. Oh, his cup spilled over. There was no foul play. Lemon Boy legit knocked over Oh, that's what he gets, cup. though. Needless to say, he was quiet when the competition <laughs> ended. I ended up winning oh, the competition. Good. I guess drawing gave me some crazy grip oh, that's good. because even against the adults, I had the most juice squeezed out. Yep. I don't know. I love him, boy. Anyone want to arm wrestle sometime? We could check it out. to show that you really shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. Have when you say you that, I just think, I just imagine like the, <laughs> like, because um, it's a Chick-fil-A joke and chick or chicken and Chick-fil-A joke. Like, you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch and then, <laughs> like, you know, something like that is what I expect. That's really cool. That spider, spider girl, <laughs> spider instead of spider girl. Um. Okay, so I, I think that kid. Listen, he should have been humble. If he had been humble, he would have gotten it. Cause she was not even like. It's funny how we how everybody does this. You, they say the path that you take to avoid something can sometimes bring you directly to that thing. And I know that happened in Kung Fu Panda. It happened here, where she was like not even interested. She was like, man, I don't wanna do this right now. I'm just gonna participate because my mom is making me. And then this kid is like, you should back out, grandma. And she's like, you know what, now I care. Now I'm going to do it. So he could have won without, if he didn't even like trash talk her or you know try to rile her up because if he didn't rile her up she wouldn't she would have stayed uninterested and she wouldn't have put in so much effort to beat him plus if he had been focusing on his own thing maybe he wouldn't have knocked over his cup and then he wouldn't have had lemonade everywhere um it's kind of funny it's super funny that that happened to him it's like, I'd be like yeah this is good inside but I also feel a little bad because I always feel bad for people who lose except like in certain cases. In most cases, I feel bad for people who lose. There's sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Have you ever been in some type of competition or something like that where something like this happened? If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Sugar there. If you like this video, like the like on that like button. I love you guys as always, and until next time, buddies.